Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change a pollen filter on a Volvo V40 2011 model. Um, very common for it to miss step window, so you need to be changed. So first thing we're going to do is remove this panel on the passenger side footwell on the near side of the car. So we're going to just pull it away. It's just held in by clips, so we're going to give it a good pull and it should pop off and then drop down and we'll remove that. Next, we're going to remove another panel just um, underneath the dash in the footwell, and it's held in with two torque screws, so a T20 or 25 Torx, and remove the two screws holding the panel, and then just pull the panel down. So yeah, so once you've got the remove the panel removed, I think it's just hooked on the clip now. So once you get him down, um, it's got a light, so it's just got a little electrical connector. Just push in the tab and pull the electrical connector away from the light, and it'll just pop off like so. Then you can remove the panel. So what you've got is a little door where the pollen filter sits behind. So at the back, we've got three large tabs that hold it in place so what you need to do is apply pressure to the back side of the door pulling it towards you and push with one of your fingers each three tabs so you can pull one at a time just give it a pull and it will pop straight off and that's how you access the pollen filter next thing you want to do is get the little flap on the end of the filter and just give it a pull and get it out some filters are different but this one's really straightforward makes it a bit easier with that flap so you can just pull it out now always make a note of which way the filter comes out and if you look on top you'll see a little arrow which in this case is facing towards me and that obviously shows which way the filter goes so I'll just grab my new filter and you'll see I'm gonna put the arrow facing the same direction now obviously this one isn't that dirty but if you had a blocked filter then you would definitely have window to mist in faults so it's a bit awkward to get in there um, because there's a fuse box in the way but what you can basically do if you can get the end of the filter started and then what you do is is just bend the filter around the corner and it will go in now they are they are very flexible filters and if they do go out of shape a little bit don't worry because once they go into the into the heater box itself they will pop pop back into his original position so don't worry about uh, bending it around corners and stuff it really won't hurt it as long as you don't obviously it doesn't come unbonded or break so as you can see here now I'm just bending it around the corner and pushing it in and then as it goes in it'll just push flat you can see there now it's just pop flat and then push it in so that's it guys um, obviously you're going to refit the cover now and you can see these three little hooks that's got to locate into the front part of the opening on the heater box and we're just going to hook them and then give them a firm push and that should lock it into place it can be a little bit fiddly but it just you know be careful with it because you don't want to break them them la them tabs off if you break them off the obviously the door won't secure properly so that's it guys that's in place obviously just a matter of re refitting the two panels now and then that's your job done thanks for watching guys